Let the Ascension Ceremony commence! Avenger of the Vortex, by Who Shh. is that? Osile's wife. Final follower of the Overlord of the Vortex. Sounds like you knew this was coming! Beto sensed something was stirring in the deep. She warned me months ago. Knowing she harbors hatred toward the Jade Chamber, I chose to rebuild it now as a way of drawing her out. Got it. Well, let's go fetch the Adepta. No. Huh? In this human age, the people of Liyue must find a way to overcome this crisis on our strength alone! Child, your life brings nothing but disaster to us all. At least if you die, I can bring her back. The day you learn how to use your strength for the good of others is the day that you can truly become part of human society. What are you doing? There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. Uh, 
again. triumphant hero returns at last. And to a rather spectacular welcome, even if I do say so myself. You're the outcast, expelled from the academia. Indeed I am. Although these days they tend to call me the Doctor. <laughs> if you're looking for your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. With some basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Clearly, she lacks the degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. <sighs> the people of Samir City! What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha terminals. Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. As you can see, all these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. <laughs> My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. Uh, no! What should we do? These are all just regular people! Leave now. You need to get out of here. What? That guy's a Fatui Harbinger! We can't just leave you here! Nor can I abandon the people of Samaru! You appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be... the God of Wisdom. <laughs> this should be fun. 
far enough? <sighs> Paima needs to catch her breath first. Wait, something isn't right! of sub is as beautiful as we can. <laughs> the wait is over, everyone. I dedicate this to our god. The Dance of sub -Zerus. I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Nilu's dance.
Over half our trained samurai are wounded, and our Shikigami losses are far greater than anticipated. Besides, the outside situation is beginning to stabilize. Do we really need to keep pursuing this ultimate attainment? Why so apprehensive? This is all within my expectation. Arunosuke, forgive my directness, but she's not coming back. All I ever wanted was to assist her descendants and guard this territory. Now that our targets no longer exist, and those needing our protection are finally safe, then perhaps our sworn mission has indeed come to an end. I always believed that I would stand guard in this place forever, if time permitted. I almost fooled myself with such a notion. I hope you never make the same mistake. Don't worry, Haranosuke. I know everything that you've done for Inazuma. Your efforts need not be judged by others. The same goes for my existence. <laughs> Bestowing you with intelligence that you should know human emotion, it would seem this was the right decision. In the end, it is you that have enlightened me. Rosy-cheeked in the morning, bleached bones by dusk. How so very true. I have nothing left to keep me. Shiki Taisho, my friend, you have completed your assignment magnificently. As for me, I need wait no longer. I will set out again in search of a new purpose. Then this is farewell, Harunosuke. Be safe in your travels. remember everything. Haranosuke didn't abandon me. It was I that persuaded him. <sighs> and helped him escape the labyrinth of his heart. My story, yes, I should have known. Master's failed specimen in the dragon's belly. This is where the story truly begins. <laughs> if we switched places, if you were the survivor, then as the abandoned experiment, the failure of the primordial human project, I'd want to replace you, too. I would replicate your appearance, study your alchemy, and create miraculous life forms to divert your attention. I would wait for the right moment, then dispose of you and the Traveler, the sole person to have known your secret. And then, I could finally experience the joy of being brought into the world. Hmm. My power 
is almost spent. Without him, my eventual demise is inevitable. But if I abandon the future to give everything I have in this moment, my physical form can be forged anew. Everything? You mean... Yes. The cost is my entire consciousness. <laughs> Still a chance for Ishian art. Once remade, I will be a valuable resource for your studies. Ishian lives on, and its finest hour is yet to come. Even if I am not the one to prove its might to the Shogun, as long as it is an Ishian blade, crafted by Kaedehara hands, it will still fulfill his final. Thank you, son of the Kaedehara clan. Over the years, my real name has been forgotten by all. I'm ashamed to utter it, yet it remains strong in my mind. Kagotsurube Ishii. This name is now yours. To keep. Hm. Rest in peace. the name Fischl more than you do. It's a complex yet simple name that represents the beauty of dreams and liberty. Hey. One stormy night, a girl found a way to the future in the library. She said to herself, I shall create my dream kingdom. I'll carve mountains and oceans, and erect castles and towns. Then she spoke to those who shared her dream. Please be proud of all that is unreal, for we are greater than this world. For our magnificent kingdom is a small and forbidden paradise. Where have you been? <sighs> Brother Yaksha, you're confused again. I've told you countless times, I am Boyang, a thaumaturge who fought with you in the chasm. Boyang? Boyang? You are Boyang, but who am I? <laughs> Believe me, I want to know as much as you do. Here we are, the two who agreed to stay here together, and I can't even call you by your name. It's a shame. Stay here? No. No, you have to leave. Uh, nonsense, Brother Yaksha. We're down here for good now. Don't you remember? It's too late to have regrets. The seal can't be broken. The seal. Ah, oh, yes. I'm a Yaksha who came here to fight. Brother, brother, are you okay? <laughs> Look at the state of me. I don't think I've got long now. <laughs> We're the only two left. Don't go dying on me. <sighs> you know, today I saw my family down here. Clearest day. What do you think? Am I losing my mind now, too? Hmm. Boyong, do you want to go home? I made my decision to leave Zhongzhou up on the surface. I obviously... <sighs> of course I want to go home. I must have... family, too. You mean brothers and sisters? I'm sure you do. Brothers and sisters. Yes, 
But who am I? And where is my family? I'm... Brother! What's wrong? Hang in there. It's just you and me, don't... Don't die before me. Alatus, is that you? Who's Alatus? Your memory's calling again. <coughs> I'm sorry. You all have to see me in this state. Brother! Brother! Look, there's someone over there. Who are they? They're... They're my... My... I remember now. I know you. <laughs> My brothers and sisters have come for me, boy. You're, you're awake. At least, at least tell me your name. Brother, brother Bosatius. <laughs> hey, Bosatius. Bosatius. I. I am Bosatius. And my destiny is to make the ultimate sacrifice. I've said so much today. Ready? It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. The first to betray me was a god, my creator, my mother. Valuing strength above all, she saw no worth in me, and I was discarded. The second was a human. My family. My friend. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality, he broke his promise to me. Humans, they can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounce the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate, and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> One year, the poet Suiko made his way to Tenshukaku and presented the Kasen's work for the Shogun's perusal. But a page from the works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out, and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before, and vaguely recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was intoxicated. You were able to complete the first portrait before the opening ceremony! And boats and squirrels! 
What's wrong? Look! Over there!这里本该接近尾声，但今日我再添一笔，唱与祝。茫茫天地无依靠，孤身离去。今日再会，新朋旧友坐满堂，共聚此时。Easy now. Have a taste of this. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I didn't tear the whole place down. <coughs> But check it out. New path. <laughs> If you need a hero, I'm the man. For the job. Miku. Should have seen this coming. Land knows. Shut up. 
fallen leaves. Adorn my night! Solidify! I'll keep back. Shine down! Oh, you're daily. Lucky today. Inazuma shines eternal! Uh, academia scum! Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Boss! Finally! Did you use it? Great! Now we can... Uh -huh. Boss? Do not impede our work. Is that understood, all Haytham? Of course. I was only trying to help. Take him away! Nishnayan diplomat, you know what happens if you lay a finger on me. I swear, if you strike me, I will make sure... The Fatui will make sure that your precious Inazuma... Stop! I order you! And you! Filthy rats! All of you! You are the enemy of eternity. <laughs> but as the victor, I acknowledge your honor. Therefore, I shall allow you to leave Tenshukaku alive. Stars align, bestow your light. Evil purged by thunder's might. Spirit curbed, Numa Surge, by Dictum Divine, heed these words. Do as I command! Uh, Aha! Uh -huh. The Fantastic Compass is an amplifier. Maintain this energy level, and we may stand a chance. I will maintain the energy flow. Understood. Everyone, stand back! I shall hold the line by sealing the surface. As Yakshas, we must fight for this world. General Alatus, falling in!
Watch out! This trip may be dangerous, yet you insist on going. I have guarded this place for several hundred years. Only to seek the nameless Yaksha do I request your approval. Hmm. <sighs> Memories of the yokai. They haven't been able to relax and soar through the air like this for a long time. Come with me. You all right, little one? You look a little nervous. It's just... Hyman's never seen anything like this before. They've really blocked out the moon! It does look a little intimidating, doesn't it? But I know them. They may be loud and brash at times, but they are good and brave souls. Even after losing their lives in a brutal war, they have never given in to grief or despair. Alas, their time is short. come to an end. <laughs> Since you're sorry to see them leave, why don't you do the recital along with me? Oh Hakushin, cause of this enchantment, in reverence I perform this rite. In reverence I perform this rite. To be a guiding light.
book says, recite the secret spells of Lady Kitsune tonight, and our wishes will come true. <gasps> oh, Hakushin, cause of this enchantment. I perform this rite to be a guiding light. Your unrivaled power will be honored eternally. Kusai, you asked if I was doing well. Really, every day is a happy day for me. But watching you all leave now, I can't help but feel a little lonely. Mm. Just a little, of course. Hmm. Just as I thought, the ritual went very smoothly. Thank you both. Hmm? Oh, I'm great. Is everything ready? Absolutely. Although... You brought fewer people than I imagined. Bring him over! Grandpa! Why is there only one of them? Raman, I've always thought of you as a man of his word. What's this about? It's a one-for-one -one exchange! Sounds fair, don't you think? And let me put it this way. Agreeing to any kind of deal with the Dendro Archon's people is already a huge compromise on my part. Don't you think you've asked enough? Uh-uh. <sighs> you stay right there! <laughs> Shaking. Wait a second. It's a earthquake. <laughs> Wherever in. Civilization is born of knowledge, but so too can knowledge be its demise. A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. The Scarlet King brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers, Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. Were it not for Greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests, the damage would have been irreversible. She summoned the priests to build temples and infused into them the divine power of life. The disaster was miraculously tempered, and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. But now, my duty is coming to an end. 
As I close my eyes for the final time, the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. In helping the Scarlet King to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. How strange. Now that I think of her, I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, cling no longer to past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence. What was that? The priest's memories. No. No! Impossible! Greater Lord Rukadevata. So the former Dendro Archon and the Scarlet King were never enemies at all.